What's cracking? It's Cusk. That was my first video about my 1995 Nissan hard body pickup. Just kind of want to go over the things that I've done to them. First thing, I got these spider tail lights from eBay, and I put all the LED lights inside the white, the red, the amber. Um, decals and stuff I switched to these American Racing uh, rims and tires here 215 70 R 15s just kind of wanted to give it a beefier tire because uh, I drive off-road up to work a lot so had a few tires go on me I put it back to stock height so you can kind of see the stance Right there is a little bit higher than everybody. Everybody likes bagging these, but it's not my style. Especially if I'm going on these roads that are like this. <laughs> um, let's see, I did a custom interior. I'm gonna swap all of this too to a better interior because I got a bunch of cracks in here that I just didn't feel like fixing. So I got an, a spare truck over there that, um, I already put the engine out of. I gave them to a buddy of mine who needed an engine. And I got a few other parts going to different uh, people. So well, I'm going to take that interior because that interior is clean. That's where I got these seats from. I switched out my bench to these uh, bucket seats with the center console. See my bench is over there. Still in good condition, but I just I like the feel it is. I like having cup holders, which is really nice. <laughs> yeah, I took all of this out. I painted it myself. Uh, put a little Sony deck in from Walmart. Nothing fancy. Uh, I had to fix all of the um, AC connections and everything behind there because they were all uh, not working. I got a sub back there, kicker. Uh, let me see if I can get to it. <clears throat> Right there, my little square kicker, LS7. She go, 10 inch. It's good for a small truck like this. I've got these uh, Sony speakers also from Walmart. Perfect. Uh, no glove box because I had to do my heater core on this because it was leaking um, coolant all inside of my cab. So I had to take out this whole thing. That's why I ended up painting all of this and before I put it back in because I had to take out all the interior just to do that. But I put the heater core in there. That's the condenser, the AC condenser. But I just left the glove compartment off because it didn't have a latch anyway. So it was just held on with rope. Let's see, moving around to here. Go under the hood. Put gas struts in here, and I got these brackets made up by uh, Dan Carr on Instagram, C A R R, and it allows you to keep your reservoir where it's at. Cause uh, I think the Road Fab one, they said you had to remove or move your uh, washer fluid reservoir, and I didn't like that. So he got a CNC machine to uh, fit right there. I got this. Uh, High induction, high flow intake from UFO 2000 Hunter. Pretty nice. Give me some air into my intake. I'm going to end up moving this battery. I'm going to put that in the bed and then I'm going to do a short ram right here. And then do a custom little uh, airflow intake section into that. Uh, deleted all my EGR stuff. I just get this... Um, little breather filter on here for now. I was thinking about doing a wheel catch can on it later. Um, when I get time. But this seems to be working. I got pace setter, long tube headers. You know, you don't make much for these trucks. So, uh, slapped those on, painted them up. Good flow on them. Good, nice flow. Nice aggressive sound. Uh, what else in here? Nothing really much. I mean, it's just simple these trucks. So 
so I just deleted all of the crap that was around here. Uh, I still gotta clean up this engine bay though. It's pretty nasty. But I think when I do my battery relocate into the back, I can have a little more space and I'm just gonna do the whole bay. Um, this whole truck too is, um, I swapped frames on it. It was completely rotted, the frame that I had, so I swapped it over to a 93. Um, frame that my buddy had on the side cherry so it's a 93 95 hybrid I gotta change out this whole front because as you can see it's all rusted out on in here I mean all this whole thing is all rusted out and this is just kind of faded and worn it's all held on by zip ties I want to do something custom all in the front here. We'll see when the time comes. Uh, moving over to here. I said I get my nice seats. Beautiful. Let's start this bad boy up. this whole cluster in here because the speedometer and the tachometer weren't working the whole circuit board on the back was corroded so I ended up just getting another one off of eBay and fixing it uh, had to rewire this whole thing too because it had wiring was all over the place um, yeah. I got a custom Exhaust setup, which I gotta redo. Coming off the headers into my 18 inch glass back. Nothing fancy. <laughs> nice and poppy. It's just a little loud for me, that's the only thing. Uh, I got my Bilstein shocks back there. I redid all four, the front and the back, and then I did tie rods, inner outer with the ball joints. All of that. I mean, nothing fancy. It's pretty much stock, but I just super it up here and there. Uh, I get these four-wheel drive fenders over here. That I was gonna put on too, because I think uh, see I was kind of grinding them a little bit, get some rust off, but it's been sitting, so get some more rust on there. But I'm gonna put these on over there because mine one are really really rotted around the uh, connector part, so plus it'll give it that little bulge out area in the front, it'll make it look really nice. Oh my headlights, I put projector headlights in here I don't want to go with those usual you know with the 50 little bulbs around here that everybody gets I want it to be something unique you know and come with the uh, the flasher in here as well which is pretty sick so I ended up deleting these so these are wired into here now um, and that's why I want to fix all that you can see it's all junk down there so but yeah other than that I mean nothing fancy with this thing she's getting there I eventually wanted to do a uh, turbo and stuff on it but this right now I mean, it's my daily driver so it gets me A to B it does its thing once I move this out of here and I make this ram right down to there and scoop in all the cool air from the side or I was thinking about actually taking this out doing like a funnel up underneath and boxing off this area with an aluminum box just fabricate that and then uh, run the filter right into that box so it can be enclosed give it a little bit more cool air but there she is it's my girl
Any questions, just hit me up. Let me know. Thank you, guys.